when y'all was talking about that bob how short did y'all want me to go Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Silver Lines Beauty Playbook. So today's video is going to be a relaxer update and a hair update for you guys. And just let me know how you feel about this bob because it can be real, but it's not. Okay, let me just go ahead and untuck this real quick. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the channel. So if it looks like I have a lot of makeup on, I do. I wanted to go all out for you guys today and I was feeling myself, you know, I've been at home quarantining and stuff. So I went ahead with like a full, like eye beat, okay? The eyes are by Morph or Morphe, my Morphe palette. And lips are by Lime Crime and it's, um, I believe it's New Americana and Pumpkin. And that's the mixture of the two. I didn't want to do too loud, but I wanted to be loud enough. You know, you just want to be loud enough so people can hear you in the back. Can you hear me? So let me start out the video by saying thank you to everyone who took the time to watch and encourage me at the end of the video. Because, you know, YouTube can be a space where people can just be nasty, okay? And the fact that you guys are always here watching over, making sure I'm good. I'm grateful. I am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I wasn't like fully discouraged. I think I was more like disappointed because I am what is it, uh, five years into a hair journey and, or maybe six at this point. And this is the last thing that I expected with my hair journey after this much time. So I know that I should be somewhere else. But again, one of my biggest things is not to focus on length, but health. All right. So that brings me to this video. So this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I did with my last relaxer and what my hair was looking like. And how it just all came together. Um, another thing that I wanted to um, talk about was the comment that some people left behind, which was um, a couple of different people wanted me to cut my hair, my hair into a bob, which is why I was doing the whole fake bob, tuck bob or whatever. But I wanted you guys to see what my face looked like. You know, I look a little rounder. You know, if you really care for me, you probably wouldn't suggest a bob. But <laughs> two things about that bob, of the idea of a bob, one, it would involve that I go to a hairstylist, and I have not been to a hairstylist in probably about four to five years. I just get anxiety going to the hairstylist. Like my tummy starts to rumble and I get gas and it's just not right. Like it's like, if I'm going to do all of this, I might as well just not go. I'd rather mess up my own hair than allow somebody else to mess it up and then still pay you for it. Like really? No. All right. Then I thought about going to a white hairstylist. I was like, maybe a white hairstylist. Like if I go to like Supercuts and they just cut me up a quick quick little bob, I'll be fine. But I was like, sometimes the way they touch black hair, you're just like, are you are you okay? Like, is everything okay up there? Or are you having some, do you need my help? No. The second reason was if I cut my hair into a bob, I don't always wear my hair heat styled, okay? And uh, today my hair is heat styled by me. Yes. I'm, I'm feeling my heat style look. And a bob will look good when your hair is like blown out, pressed out, and fluffed up, okay? Where there's no stiffness work. But I don't use heat that often. I use heat maybe every, once every three months, whenever I get a relaxer. That, that really wasn't going to look good once I decided to wear my hair air dried. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to cut my hair into a bob. But I decided that I would just do a deep trim, okay? So what you're seeing now is my hair deep trimmed out. And I'll show you how I got to this process and how I got to this length. My length is a little bit different, but, you know, I'll tell you this. My hair feels really, really good. I don't know exactly where I am lengthwise, but I do know that um, it's not as long as... It used to be or what it's supposed to be, but I love it. I love the new look. I'm feeling it. This is going to be it for the summer. And hopefully by the end of the year, I'll be talking, singing a different tune. If not, your girl will be going natural. Okay. So this, this little bit of relaxed hair left behind, she needs to act right. Okay. You need to act right. Get it together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. 
Good morning, everyone. As you can see, mama's looking all kinds of rough. Ooh, that is nasty. Don't rush. Let's do this real quick. Denied. <laughs> but don't worry. I got that relaxer for that ass. There we go. Okay, guys. So this is not going to be a tutorial because I already have a video on my channel showing you guys how I do my relaxer process. But I'm just going to show you guys exactly some of the things I did. One of the things that I actually did differently with this relaxer process was, and it's not on camera, I did not do a protein treatment before. Before I relaxed my hair I usually do a protein treatment a week before and I did not do that but um, here I'm just going ahead and prepping my hair and the reason why I did not do a protein treatment was because my hair lately has been protein sensitive so I skipped my protein treatment on this relaxer I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do it on the next one or not but on this relaxer I definitely skipped the protein treatment so I prepped my hair and I'm just gonna go ahead and put that relaxer in and I'm taking out the twisties I do have detailed video on my channel on exactly everything that it is that I'm doing and products used I'll try and make sure I put a link in this video so you guys can check that out for details all right so I'm rinsing now I start off with the back and I rinse out the front after rinsing out the back I did do a uh, cold wash right before this actual shampoo wash. You don't see it in this video, but I always cold wash before and cold wash after. So shout out to Motions on this neutralizing shampoo. It was bomb diggity. It smelled great. It was just nice. I kind of missed the classic pink uh, indicator, and I did have a pink indicator with the shampoo. It was really, really nice. Motions neutralizing shampoo is a yes for me. Of course, I'm ending out here with a cold wash. Look at that, yum, yum. Look at that creamy goodness. Creamy goodness. Nothing has changed, honey. Nothing has changed. All right, so I'm rinsing out my hair, and I actually went back to the classic Sacred Tear from Carol's Daughter Deep Conditioning Mask. I did that because I feel like since my hair has been so unstable, it's it's definitely necessary to go back to your some of your old school originals to just get everything back right. So with the hair mask, I went ahead and did uh, a steam treatment with that. You know, relax the day. You want to give yourself a little extra love. So this is what my hair looks like after the actual uh, deep conditioning. Not too bad. And don't worry, there will be a list of products used. Again, I'll put a link in here for video for the videos, my relaxer day video, so you guys can see what it is I'm doing. So in order to get my trim going, I wanted to go ahead and do a, a nice blowout and a nice straightening and this is necessary to ensure that i'm not cutting too unevenly since i'm doing this all by myself so this is all my prep work for my blowout and my the straightening of my hair check out that tongue chewing y'all it's one of my favorite things to do <laughs> anyway so this is what my hair looks like now and then i'm just gonna go in with the blow dryer easy gently So this is what she looked like after the straightening. You can see where my hair is a little bit broken in the back, right there in the center. Um, but we're gonna work on it. So guys, I did a nice deep trim. Some of y'all might not think that I trimmed enough, and it's possible, but if you look at the length that I took off, it was some serious length. To me, it's very, very serious. But look at that. Like, it's some serious length. So check this out. Check, check this out all over again. That is serious length gone oh gosh anyways again health over length any day but the hair felt really really nice i didn't get the stragglies at the end sometimes when you run your hands through your hair it feels like the stragglies are just kind of holding you back but this 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 was very very necessary oh my gosh she's gone i had to let it go but i will say after a full trim my hair felt really, really nice. It really did. It felt thicker, felt fuller, felt richer, and it just gave me like a fresh start. And I would do this by myself any day, any time, guys. It's not it's not a bad thing to, to, to just love up on your hair on your own. You can do it. But this is what she looked like pretty much right after. And um, no regrets here. Definitely some length loss. I think I'm right about... 
is this shoulder length, guys? Shoulder, armpit length. Maybe I'm right about armpit length. But here you can see the, some of the longest strands that I took off. That's that's all in one piece right there. You know, so definitely there's a deep trim. I can't wait to see what my hair is going to look like for the next relaxer after this. I will definitely keep you guys updated. And again, this is another shot of my hair after everything is said and done. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah.